Hi everyone, my name is Peter Felf and I'm from the University of Sydney and today I want to show you um, our Atom Blend plugin. So what is Atom Blend? Atom Blend is a plugin um, that allows you to easily load Atom Pro data into Blender. And Blender is a 3D open source um, software which allows you to do visualization and animation. And I have heavily relied on it for the last two or three years so everything that you can see on my web page that is not you know not a not a TM image or something like this here um, is actually created um, with Blender which gives you the ability to just visualize anything you want and gives you a whole lot of flexibility in terms of how you do that uh, and a very good example of that was this image that recently got us onto the um, front page of Angewandte Chemie, um, the highest impact chemistry journal. So um, we thought that it might be a good idea to actually make it accessible to everyone that does um, Atom Probe. And the result of that is Atom Blend, and that's been programmed by a student of ours, Vavara Evramova, over the last couple of months. Um, she's supervised by myself and Anna Segera, and she's in Simon Ringer's group. And this is the first version that we actually want to share with you. It only contains visualization so far, but analysis is to follow. So in order to get Adam Blend, you can get it on my webpage. Um, there's a post on there actually together with this video. And this very video is to show you um, how to install it and how to do some very basic visualization. Um, and the next video is going to be on and actually the nitty-gritty details and how to do some more advanced visualization. So let's get started. Uh, and in order to do that, you open Blender. I uh, hope you've downloaded it. And in my case, it's Blender 2.71. The reason why I'm using 2.71 is because it's the last version that has the screencast keys. So you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, I'll just go and activate those. Make them big enough so you can see them. So whenever I press a key, you can see that. All right, installing the the, uh, the plugin. So in order to install it, press File, User Preferences, and uh, go Install from File. Then go wherever you've um, saved the file called Atom Blend. It needs to be a zip file, so please don't unzip it. Blender wants to install a .zip file. Click Install from File. And there we go, 3D view, add-on blend. Uh, the only thing we need to do is activate it. So click on the little square so that you can see the uh, uh, tick the box. And go save user settings and close. And if you're in object mode, so you need to be in object mode. There's various modes here. We'll talk about it later what they mean. Um, we're in object mode. There's a new tab called add-on blend. And it's got all the tools in it to, for, in order for you to do Atom Pro visualization. Uh, just before we get started, just right click on um, the lamp and the cool in the default scene and delete them because we're not going to need them, obviously. And then go select POS file, which is the first button up. Sorry, I'll make it a little bit larger so you can see what the buttons mean. First one is select .pos file and select one that you have on your computer. Um, this is a reference file that I've artificially created that I'll be handing out for the tutorials that um, I'm starting to make right now. Just go select that one, select the uh, corresponding range file. It needs to be .rng format, which is the Oak Ridge National Labs format, and load that in, and then click load POS range file, and then um, you can actually decide which way you want to create objects from that. So on the right hand side here you've got two sections, one's called the property editor down here and one's called the outliner up here. And once we click bake to objects, um, we will have objects appearing in the outliner which is where which is used to manage all sort of objects in the scene and their data. Um, and we usually want to have either, you know, ionic objects, which means, you know, like iron plus versus carbon two plus versus aluminium plus something like that. Um, but for now, we're just going to do atomic. So just click bake to object. Um, and you will see that in just a couple of seconds, depending on how large your data set is, you will have new objects appearing in the outliner that represent uh, an atomic decomposition of your data set, which means that, say, 
your irons are separated from your carbons, are separated from uh, whatever else you have in there in terms of chemical elements. All right, everything's here, and um, Adam Blatt auto, uh, automatically resend us your, your view on it. I'll just click on the eye assembler here in order to uh, hide the silicon so that we can see the solid, the solid, which is, I've just called it hafnium, it's an artificial data set. Um, and well, that looks a lot like a grain boundary. I'll just go into view and uh, go to orthogonal view. You can do all of the view operations on your number pad, it goes a little bit faster if you've got one, and it looks a lot like an atom probe data set. So this is actually it in terms of getting your data in. Um, but I'm also going to show you just some very basic uh, visualization, and in the next tutorial we're gonna we're gonna dive head first really deep into visualization. Uh, in order to do that, such as that you have um, that you have um, some successful render straight away, all I need to do is go and click and select it. It's selected now, so deselected would be this uh, if it's bright green or bright orange, uh, depending on what mode you're in. Um, it will. Um, it's the active object and you just click add halo material and you've got options here so you can change the um, the color um, I will just choose a sort of bluish uh, light blue material um, and make them 0.4 nanometers just to end out for that data set to work very well of course you can go and tweak that and add a bounding box bounding box is a little bit of padding to it and there we go the only thing we need now is to position our camera so we can select the camera and you can see it's there somewhere somewhere down in the middle of nowhere we'll just move it outside of the data set otherwise we're going to have clipping issues and we're going to adjust the size of the camera you can see it's tiny and we've got a large data set so we just click on a camera symbol here make it an orthographic camera uh, with an orthographic scale of 120 because that's roughly the size of the data set um, and adjust the aspect ratio of the camera which you don't do in the camera panel but in the render panel which is the first one um, I've got presets for that so I just set it to 1024 by 1024 and in order to position it to your current view we've actually created a button for that so you just position active uh, position currently active camera press that just a little bit off so we can go and press G to move it um, onto the data set and you can go and actually while in camera view you can rotate the data set around the standard rotation buttons um, I'll just go and change the background to black it's gray right now and press render and ta-da there's a beautiful render of our data set. So, um, yeah, thank you for your attention. And in the next tutorials, we're going to go deeper into Atom Blend and Blender. And I will show you how to go to the more fancy um, analysis and a little bit of, um, a little bit of animation.